Over-tourism is a phenomenon that a number of cities and places across the world suffer from. It's really the outcome of very cheap air travel and too many people wanting to travel the world. Its impacts can be seen in cities like Barcelona, in Amsterdam, in Venice, and here in Edinburgh as well. It's really a sort of deluge of people coming to certain parts of a city and changing the nature and the fabric of that city by their impacts in a whole number of ways. I'm Hannah Bradley, um, I am a community worker for the council and I also do a bit of freelance community development work as well. There was a lack of affordable and social housing as well outside the chemist. But I grew up in Edinburgh's old town. I don't live here anymore but my parents still do and our family's home is still here in the grass market. It doesn't feel like tourism ever ends in Edinburgh or in the grass market. It doesn't feel like there's a tourist season. Certainly it's worse in August during the festival, but it feels busy all year round. The emotional side to living here when it's that busy is that it brings out a really horrible side of me. It makes me, it makes me really angry and it makes me feel like I'm not, I'm not a nice person. The noise is just unbearable. You can't sleep 24 7. You can't, because there's someone outside busking. You can't hear the radio, you can't hear the TV, you can't have a conversation. It makes me feel kind of sorry for visitors actually when I think about what the city has become, because you don't come here and meet locals. You're walking through a kind of inauthentic, like tourist town with lots of shops with tartan rubbish and I don't know why anyone would want to visit this place because a place isn't just beautiful buildings, it's all the people that live here and I feel like there's less and less of us. I think inauthentic is probably the, the best word I would use to describe it. One of the impacts of over tourism is people coming for very short term visits and this has a profound effect on the city Housing that used to be residential housing where people and families would live becomes a space just for visitors. So whole neighbourhoods in Edinburgh have been transformed by this. The services, the shops and the nature of that community changes because they want to service tourists rather than residents. I'm Matthew Crichton. I live in the Canongate area of the old town in Edinburgh. This part of Edinburgh has become a kind of Disney version of, of what it used to be uh, because of the impact of just too many tourists. It's become a place in which you are very unlikely to see a local person uh, in amongst the crowds, the High Street in particular in the Canning Gate is a theme park almost uh, for mass tourism. It's, it's not good for this community at all. Short term lets are a blight on the old town. 29 in every 100 accommodation units flats in the old town are short term lets. That means almost a third of the entire uh, accommodation in the old town is not available for people who need homes. When we have a problem of homelessness and uh, rents and prices going very high, it's a disaster for the city that that's allowed to happen. I'm not against people uh, letting guests come and stay in their, their flat, in their room, a spare room. I've done that myself. But when you buy up an entire flat, and sometimes almost entire stairs are bought up, uh, to be used for tourism, it's a terrible thing for this city and this community. Over tourism and the massive increase of short term lets is having a bad effect on the people who do live here. There are people who live in stairs in this court where there is only one flat which is occupied on a permanent basis. That's 
very, very bad for people who are affected. But the, the main problem from my point of view is that the community, which uh, does exist here, has become a whole lot smaller. Because uh, maybe as many as half the flats in this area are no longer occupied by people who can be part of our community. Yeah, our community needs that the objective of regulation is to reduce the numbers. It feels like not a place that you live in, but a place that people want to come and see. So we are protecting our own community here by keeping our activities going. But for the Cannon Gate as a whole, the sense of community is under serious threat. My name is John Mitchell. Um, I live in the centre of the old town of Edinburgh. I'm 64 years old. Um, I'm originally from Musselburgh, just outside the city, but I've lived in the old town here for nearly 30 years. The phenomenon of um, short-term let has changed the whole character of the city. And the problem um, here is that many of the, the residents have now left, sold their flats, and the flats have gone for commercial let for Airbnb. Certainly, um, my neighbourhood has lost its identity. Um, like in any neighbourhood, it's not the buildings that make the neighbourhood, it's the people who live there. <laughs> Short-term lets in the old town have been particularly destructive to the community because of the numbers. I have an Airbnb right above me here. So every two or three days, I've got a different neighbour who I don't know. I've got the contract cleaners coming in at the end of, the, of their stay. I've got the contract laundry coming in. So it's like living in the Ibis Hotel. If you've got new neighbours every two days, your character of your, your, um, where you live changes. It has made things quite difficult around here. It made me question, why don't I just leave? Or why don't I just go and rent it out like everybody else and earn lots of money? But that's not what I moved here for. <laughs> We've got one of the highest concentration of short-term lets in the world, mostly in the old town of Edinburgh. Airbnb are the main company that operates uh, in the city. What started as an idea where you could let out your room and it was a kind of small-scale thing has turned into a massive business. This is large-scale business. This is not ordinary people being hosts and renting out their flats. It's complete nonsense. Over-tourism and short-term let crisis in Edinburgh hasn't come about by accident, it's come about by design because it's been a strategy of the council and business interests within the council and within the city to dramatically increase tourism over time. So what needs to change about that is it needs to change a, a strategy, uh, a plan to descale the amount of visitors, to degrow the economy and to radically reduce tourism in the city. This has to happen, and I think one of the things that's driving the need for that is that we're in the middle of a climate crisis and a climate breakdown, and the council's own strategy is just to grow on exponentially, growing the economy and growing the tourist numbers, and on and on and on. A plan to have more and more short-haul flights into the city forever is a, is a climate disaster as well. Summary document here, which is about seven or eight pages long, but on your tables you have the full report as well, which is the Edinburgh Old Town Development Trust pages. recently did a phase one of the place standard report. The Edinburgh Old Town Development Trust is a locally owned and run organisation that wants to improve the quality of life for residents of the Old Town. The place standard tool is a framework which allows communities to do their own research about how residents feel about their area. People who live in the community were asked to give their opinion of what it's like to live here on a number of different spectrums. So we would think, for example, about transport, about community, about the quality of housing. So we have three areas that scored really badly out of the 14. One was housing and community which encompasses short-term lets. So the Development Trust enables the community 
to do things together so that it's strong enough to take its case to its councillors, to its MPs and to its MSPs. We've recently put together a little steering group of local residents who are going to kind of look at the results of the report and decide some priorities for action and we're going to do something about it because there's no point asking people what they think and how they feel unless you're actually going to respond to them. My name is Megan Benter Bishop. I am a private tenant and I'm a volunteer and part of the organising team for Living Rent, Scotland's Tenants Union. Yeah, we understand that everyone needs Most of our work involves what other unions would call casework, but we also run various campaigns as well, such as our campaign for rent controls across Scotland and also our campaign for better regulating holiday lets, particularly in the city of Edinburgh. We think that the proliferation of holiday lets and short-term lets in the city of Edinburgh and further afield is just really the latest manifestation of housing being treated as a commodity rather than our fundamental human right. Edinburgh could regain this identity and remain a home for us, um, but it's not going to be able to do this without the mobilisation of its occupants. Uh, we need to unite all of those that are losing out and push for radical change. Um, and we need to make sure as an organisation, but also as, as citizens and residents of Edinburgh, um, to make sure that there are clear red lines. And one of these includes bringing the number of holiday lets down. And that's the most important one. So we need to continue working and make sure that our voice is heard, as well as those of residents who are wealthier and more privileged and more able to uh, to mobilise, we need to make sure we're doing that for those that are experiencing this um, in the worst ways, um, to make sure that this is actually going to be fair for us. So my name is Deirdre Henderson. I'm one of the co-founders of Place Edinburgh, which is a sort of grassroots network of um, residents who've been affected by short-term lets. We are also um, looking at over-tourism. That's very important because it's linked very much into short-term lets. We don't think over-tourism happens as much without short-term lets. So because of the COVID-19 crisis, the uh, uh, situation for tourism in the city of Edinburgh just now um, is very difficult for tourism businesses. The legal lockdown has meant that uh, attractions have had to close, the hotels have had to close. The situation for the tourist sector in the coming months is still very uncertain um, because absolutely nobody knows what's going to happen with this COVID-19 and whether there will be a second wave. With the lockdown of course people couldn't travel for non-essential travel so all the travel plans had had to be cancelled for people. A lot of our tourism has relied on people flying in on cheap flights. I just don't think that's going to be there anymore. But I don't think we'll see the way that people have travelled in the past with lots of flights. People are feeling quite nervous about that. It may take many years for people to recover from this. Subsectors of the tourism, like short-term lets, have been quite devastated by the lockdown. We have seen a huge rise in rental properties being available uh, for long-term rent in Edinburgh. Some of these are being used by essential workers at a much reduced rate or for free um, and some of them are also housing families. There was quite a number of families who've been in temporary B&B accommodation which isn't suitable um, and at the moment they're put into the short-term rent properties by the council who's paying for that. So I think we'll see more properties being sold over the next little while, especially as it becomes clear that this is going to last a very long time.
Unfortunately, the way tourism has happened here has, has been really successful, but now it's got to a stage where that actually needs to stop and they want to carry on with the idea of growing that, even though they know that it's actually not reached, it's not beneficial now for the residents. This is a city on the edge of Europe and what we've got is people coming from everywhere to visit here and we're very proud of the city and it's great to have um, these, the people but as I say it's not about the tourists it's about the system and it's about the volume of tourists. Tourism has always been with us and it's a great thing to have but at this level it's not sustainable. We need to have a different metric for success. What does living in a city look and feel like and who is it for? Is it for the residents of the city, the citizens of the city or is it for tourists?